Hello and welcome to Only Stupid Answers. My name is Sam Bash. And I'm DJ Wolderidge. Today we're talking about Charlie's Angels. Yep, the 2019 requel. Yeah, that's 100% what it is. Yes. Uh, yeah. Quickie synopsis. When a young systems engineer blows the whistle on a dangerous technology, Charlie's Angels are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect us all. Very nice of them to do yes. that. And we've got a really interesting cast of characters. We've got Kristen Stewart slumming it uh-huh. <laughs> uh, in this movie. Yeah. Uh, Naomi uh, Scott from Aladdin. Ella Blinska. Elizabeth Banks, who also wrote and directed this. Mm-hmm. Patrick Stewart. Jaimon Hamsu playing the same role he plays in every one of these types of movies. What are your thoughts on the original TV show and the film adaptation in the 2000s? I haven't seen the 2000s movies, but mm-hmm. I have seen the original show. Really? And this is very much, from what I remember of the original show, this is very much in the vein of like, hey, we get these hot supermodel ladies going on zany adventures, and that's 100% what this movie is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I think the only reason you should do a movie like this now is if somebody like Elizabeth Banks is like, I want to write and direct it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's because it, it's 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 a dated co- it's a dated concept. It really is. And so if you've got um, a talented female writer and director who's like, I got a take on it, and I'm gonna we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna have fun making it. That's it. Yeah. So. I haven't seen the 2000s movies. Have you seen the 2000s movies? As a kid, I liked them. It's all this like trance music and like oversaturated filters on cameras. And you're like, uh, the bodies hit the floor. You know, like that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and they're all training. And there was a, there was kind of like this, it, the, the film felt alive when you were watching it. Yeah. Um, that being said, all story beats. Mm-hmm. Totally not in my head. Also, Bosley was Bill Murray in the first yeah. movie, and that was that was a pretty fun casting choice. So this movie, it just wasn't really doing anything for, for me when it came to the trailers, but I liked the idea of Charlie's Angels. And also yeah, the I cast think... was is a good cast, so I was like, I let them let them do their thing, and, I, and I'll go see this movie. Yeah, so. I think we can agree that that first trailer was trash. It was not good. It was but, a really um, bad trailer. But again, sometimes there's, you just can't cut a trailer mm-hmm. for a good movie. No. And I feel like I've said that a lot, and I can't find an example of, of that being true, but it feels true. <laughs> but it feels true, yeah, yeah. Um, so going into this movie, uh, thank you to uh, Sony and Columbia Pictures for inviting us out to go watch it. That was very nice of you guys. Uh, you guys have had uh, quite a few movies of, like, there's been a lot of really good Columbia Sony movies that come mm-hmm. out this year. Like, I like Spider-Man, yeah. Zombieland, yeah. like, a lot of cool ones, and, and uh, Men in Black International. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of, you pointed out when we watched this movie, a lot of international movies with Spider-Man, Men in Black, and this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Men in Black and Charlie's Angels specifically, you're taking a somewhat older concept, yeah. rebooting it, but now, for some reason, it's international, and that happened very fast, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now you have all of these agencies all over the world, but it kind of doesn't mean anything to the plot. <laughs> yeah, 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 it kind of doesn't, uh, and you called it a requel, like a combination of reboot and sequel, because this does acknowledge... All of them. The past. The franchise is past. And mm-hmm. I think that's an effective part of it. Um, and, uh, you know, this movie is what it is. It honestly, I like I, no, I found this movie really inoffensive. I found yeah. it just like, it's just kind of like paint by numbers a little bit, but it has its own spin on it. But at the same time, it, it, it kind of gets, there are points where characters have specific character traits where like you have like the three agents and mm-hmm. they got to be these, or two agents and then Naomi Scott's character. And, you're like, okay, this is the serious one, this is the fun one. And then later, like, the serious one is, like, also, like, the one that, that's quipping and stuff. And it's like, that's not bad. It's just everyone, everyone's characters started to kind of get blended together. Um, and the threat is the biggest. It's It didn't feel like a James Bond threat. It yeah. felt like a... Bargain bin James Bond threat. Yeah, which sucks. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is, like, it, and it felt like It felt like silly. Fast and the Furious knockoff movie. Like Hobbs and Shaw, but spinoff from Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which was disappointing because they took a dig at Fast and the Furious. I'm like, don't, don't, don't. don't, don't. If you know you can beat them yeah. at their game because you're playing their game now, yeah. don't don't take swings. I will say, I think that my favorite parts of the movie was, I think the cast is great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, there's actually a really smart one of. It's in the trailer. One of my least favorite scenes, writing wise, because it's one of those a girl can do anything that a boy it's like we know we're watching charlie's angels like come on man like uh but it's it holds on Kristen stewart and she's a talented enough actress that it's like 
it almost works. Like, because yeah. she's so good. Um, the cast is great. I think Elizabeth Banks' sense of humor really lightens up everything and really makes some, specifically scenes where the characters are just sitting and talking to each other, kind of pop more. And Patrick Stewart is uh, is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's also good to see Jaiman Hansu. And- He's so good, and he always gets the same. It's like, I'm the mentor until I'm not. And that's, <laughs> that's it. It's always the same role. Um, yes, he has had a very similar role in Aquaman, Shazam, and this movie, and, and probably The Kingsman, <laughs> if we're going to just, if I can use my future vision a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling of what's going to happen to his character. Hold on. Um, no, but he does a great job. And no, I fully agree that the cast does an amazing job. Uh, I think a lot of it comes down to the edit of this movie mm. that, that really was detrimental, where it's the, the action, action is the action and like a, a lot of the, the design of the movie, yeah. where like there are these like, pink subtitles that pop up when we go to all the different locations and like honestly I'd throw like a drop shadow on that so I can see what I'm looking at like I, or whatever that's super not a real criticism but like when we go to Istanbul like all of a sudden there's like this big graphic that kind of feels like uh, you should have had a seizure warning that yeah, like yeah, once yeah. it starts flashing but when it gets to the action it they edit the crap out of it they yeah. it, like you never really see any punches connect with anybody or any sometimes kicks connect. Uh, Jane's character is the one who has the most coherent action scenes, yeah. which is disappointing because you want to see them all kick ass, right? Yeah. Like you want to see them all uh, be badasses and and you also get a... I guess you get a car chase that's pretty coherent. That, that, that's a pretty yeah, good it's, uh, action set piece. But they overall... They feel like they could be exciting, but it's just... It, you're right. It's, it takes it's, the wind out of the sails. Yeah. And, and that's disappointing because you want it to... It, an equivalent, like a John Wick kind yeah. of kind of feel to it. That's a little ambitious because mm-hmm. they're they're throwing people out of cars for real in that yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. and they don't need to do that for this movie. But I I want it to feel a little bit more kinetic, and yeah. it, with the way it was edited, it kind of yanks all that momentum out of the scenes, and that is disappointing because half of this is seeing these characters that you end up like really falling in love with and liking, yeah. hanging out together, but also kicking ass. And you kind of only get half of that in mm-hmm. this movie. Besides, like, near the end, you get one really cool scene where you got to get a bad guy assassin. It happens mm-hmm. in every Charlie's Angels franchise. Yeah. Uh, versus the cool action, uh, the main, like, fighter in the group. Yeah. And that action scene was not bad. Mm-hmm. And overall, I thought this movie was, like, it. the jokes were kind of, like, light. It felt like it, yeah. it felt like it wasn't really taking hits until about, like, a third two-thirds of the way through the movie, and then it got really funny near yeah, the yeah. end, and then I was like, oh, okay, now I, I get it. I think a good way to disguise, describe this movie is breezy. Yeah. Very. It's breezy. It's We're just like, like hanging out. Yeah, if you want to hang out with the girls, or specifically, if you are any type of horny 13-year-old, <laughs> it, no matter what you're into, if you're a horny 13-year-old, that you there is something for you to get out yeah. of this movie. No, this is for... Uh, uh, any preference you have, yeah, yeah. this you're, movie you're is for you. Yeah, you're covered. Um, and... Again, I the movie uh, breezy is a good way to put it because it, it feels like the the char- all the actors are having fun making the movie, yes, and that's always nice to see. Um, like they're genuinely having a good time making yeah. this movie. It wasn't like Suicide Squad, we're like we got magic tattoos. And it's like <laughs> that doesn't feel easy, breezy, guys. <laughs> feels feels pretty intense. Yeah, this movie feels uh, genuinely enjoyable for the actors who yeah. made it, but also it kind of feels that way when it comes to the story beats, where it's like, yeah, we're just kind of like yeah. We're just kind of yeah. like doing it, you know. Yeah, you've seen this movie. You know what this type of movie is. So if you're in the mood for that, I think you'll you'll like it. There was a, in our screening, there was a swath of, of people in the middle that were like way into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think those be like if you're just looking to hang out with your, your friends and go see a movie that you can laugh and have fun at. And also if you want a movie that has like no baggage on it, like yeah. in terms of like something dramatic or something in the horror genre or something in like a superhero genre that's like, wait, do I have to like watch like 20 movies to get what's happening here yeah. it's like nah you no. could just like watch this and have a good time and 100%. enjoy yourself uh, there is not a Rotten Tomato score out right now there are post mid, there are mid credit scenes yes. throughout so make sure you watch because actually I thought all the everything that you get in those scenes are, are pretty enjoyable also the character Saint I just want to say I enjoyed every single time he was on yeah. screen uh, I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. But um, besides uh, that, I think we're kind of winding down. There's no yeah. Rotten Tomato score, but uh, do you have a fun scoring system, or should we do a tried and Let's true? Let's just do a try and true for today. So out of ten, I would give it like a C plus, so like a, maybe a seven point five, seven point eight. You know 7.8, I mean? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's just not doing anything special, and it's you know just 
if you, I mean, it's Charlie's Angels. Why do you watch that show? Because you watch it for the three girls to be hot and kick ass and have fun. That's mm-hmm. and that's it. That's what this movie is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's it's more evolved. I feel like than yeah. than the what it was before because. That's, we knew what the other show yeah, was for, yeah, and yeah. also the 2000s remake. They tried to update it, you know, yeah. but this actually felt empowering in a more positive way, <laughs> and I, I appreciate that. That being said, I kind of felt, uh, I can say this, uh, there was a moment near, like, oh, we're getting to, like, the climax of the mm-hmm. movie, yeah. and they got to go undercover to a party where... Oh, you didn't like this. I thought this was kind of cute. I, I, it was cute, but it made me laugh really hard. It's in I, the trailer. There's a little yeah. dance sequence. Ba- basically, yeah. they, when they arrive to the party, there are either they're patrons of the party or they are hired <laughs> it's, dancers. It's confusing because they're, they're doing a routine. They're doing a routine that some of our agents know, and they fully just hop in there like... <laughs> And they're doing it, and it's like so funny. And I thought I I was laughing so hard. I was trying to stay quiet because yeah. I thought it was so funny. Because it's like, oh, okay, now I get what the movie is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, well, I, now, now, now it took I me understand. to this moment, but now I understand. But for me, I give it a, just a solid C. Yeah. I, I like a seven point five, and I mean that in, in a positive way because I it, if they wanted to make more of these movies, go for it because they're harmless, man. Like they're yeah. like it, it's just it's just meant to be fun. And if you want to have fun at the movie theater. Consider checking out Charlie's Angels and let us know what you think of it in the comments down below. And once the Rotten Tomatoes score comes out, we'll make sure we put that in the description as well. But we do want to hear from you guys. So if you do see it, let us know and make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, share this video with all your Charlie's Angels in your life. All of your angels in your life. That works better. Yes, there we go. There it is. Uh, quite a few cameos in this movie, so keep your peepers yeah, peeled. A ton. So I'm at DJ Talks Trash. This boy's at Sam Basher, and you can follow us at, at Only Stupid Answers. Yank out the vowels from Stupid on Twitter. And also check out patreon.com slash Only Stupid Answers. Also, we're doing reviews for Watchmen, Mandalorian, maybe Rick and Morty if you ask. Yeah. No one's if asked. You, if you ask real nice. If you ask real nice, <laughs> we'll do it. Literally just need one person to ask. Like, oh, okay, we got to do it really quick. We'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.